Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate a Java program to merge two different sorted arrays into a third sorted array. Let's say there are two sorted arrays. One of the sorted array has the elements like this, one comma, two comma, three. Is this array a sorted array? Yes, you see? The lowest element is in the first position, then the next highest element, then the next highest element. That means this is a sorted array. And similarly, we have another sorted array, which is like this, two comma, four comma, six comma, eight. Let's say this is another sorted array. Here also, this is a sorted array because the lesser element is in the first position and keep on growing in size, right? The lesser and the more on the right side. Fine. So these two are the sorted arrays. Now what we have to do is we need to create a resultant array. Okay, we need to merge. That means you need to club these two arrays, guys. Okay, you need to club these two arrays into a single array. What is the size of this first array? The size of the first array is three. Three is the size. What is the size of the second array? Second sorted array? It's four. Four elements are there, so four. Total how much? Three and four. Total seven. So the resultant array will be having the size seven, guys. Okay. Resultant array will be having the how much size? Seven size. And this should also be sorted, guys. Once you merge these two sorted arrays, you should also get the sorted array in the result. That means if you use your mind to create a sorted array by merging these two arrays, the first lowest element is one. Out of all these elements in these two arrays, one is the lowest element, one. Then we have, there's a two duplicated, right? So we have to say one, two, two, like this, not a problem. When they're equal, they can be in any position, that's fine. Now the next uh, bigger element is three. So three will come next. After that we have four, six, eight. Four comma, six comma, eight. So what will be the size of this uh, resultant sorted array, merged and sorted array? That is seven, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the size. So this is the kind of result we should get, guys. Now we need to write a Java program which will, which will merge two of these sorted arrays into a single sorted array. How this is possible? Using what logic we can get this done? The first logic is we need to follow a few rules, guys, okay, to get this result merged and sorted array, to get a single merged and sorted array, we need to follow a few rules. First rule is size, guys. First rule is size of the resultant array. We need to be clear about the size of resultant array. That is, size of the first array is three. Size of the second array is four. What should be the size of the resultant array? Three plus four, okay? Size of the resultant array should be equal to the size of both the arrays, that is three plus four. If one of the array is having the size three, other array is having the size four, then the resultant array should have the size three plus four. That is the first thing we have to write in the Java logic. Okay, we need to write the code for this kind of thing because you need to create a new array having this resultant size. That's why we have to focus on the size of the resultant array. Second rule. Second rule is how to merge because some elements are in the first sorted array few elements are in the second sorted array. If you have to sort it properly like this, uh, like this also should be sorted, right? For that, what we'll do is we'll compare this first element with the first element of this array, okay? Just uh, be careful, uh, be, uh, like just focus on this case, okay? Whatever I'm explaining, just focus. Let's say this array is A, this array is B, and one more array we'll create that is C, let's say, okay? The new array is having the size seven, guys. The given two arrays are A and B arrays. And we need to create a third array, which is, which is going to be the resultant array having the size three plus four, that is seven. Now, in order to add all the elements in a sorted order into the resultant array C, how to do the logic, how to write the logic? For that, what we'll do is we'll compare this element with this element, guys. We'll compare this element with this element. So here, anyhow, we got the size of the array, right? Resultant array is seven. So let's uh, build uh, seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Total seven blocks are there because size of the resultant array is seven, that's fine. After getting this, we will write this logic. So here, uh, 
here what we can do is uh, here we have the first element compared with the second first element of the second array so one we have to write this logic less than or equal to okay one less than or equal to two what is lowest element guys one less than or equal to two one is the thing right so one should be assigned here to this array to the resultant array you should get one because these two arrays are the sorted arrays so if we compare these first two elements we can get the lowest element simple this is a sorted array this is a sorted array that means all these elements are lowest element so first element if it is lowest than the first element of the second array then first element is going to go here because it's going to be the lowest element of both arrays then once you once you compare this uh, first elements of the both arrays and uh, you take one of the element here then the index should be moved here guys this element is done guys we have to move the index here okay the index position here at same time here also we need to move the position here earlier the position was here guys now we'll move the position here okay the next element has to be stored here that's why we have to move the position here now this one will be compared with this one only this position is not changed because this element is copied here that means only this position will change now this one will be compared with the first element two less than or equal to two again true so again this two will go and fall here done now since this element has been moved we need to move the position here and this position is not at mode and this position has to be moved because the new element has to be stored here understood guys so now three will be compared with two three will be compared with two so which is lowest two is lowest now this two will go and fall here since this two is gone and fall here we need to change the position of b only like this you see there is a problem coming here guys okay all the elements of the first array are already done the second element elements are still there so we need to copy okay so we need to copy the remaining elements that is 468 remaining elements are there so yeah three two we copied right so there are a few more elements left uh, that is uh, we need to compare one more iteration i guess that is we need to compare this three with four this time okay three with four this is left out okay so three will go and fall here once three goes and falls here this array is done now okay this array is now done then there are few more elements in the remaining array these three elements are not at moved into the resultant array so for that we need to write the logic so that this without any comparison within the first array and second array this three elements should go and fall here 4 6 8 till comparison is there we have to keep on comparing till one of the array is ended we need to compare two arrays once one of the array is ended you simply copy paste the remaining elements into this array that's it hope you got the point so first thing is we need to find the size of the resultant array and we need to create that array once the array is created then we need to compare the first element with first element one of the lowest will go here and the position will change in the same array and it will keep on the comparison will compare uh, the comparison of these two uh, two elements in the arrays uh, will continue until one of the array is ended and remaining elements of the remaining array will be directly copied here so like that we have to write the logic guys so let me show you practically how to write this logic whatever i explained you'll understand more clearly now So for that uh, first array i'll create integer a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 i am giving 3 then integer array b is equal to 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 i am giving four elements like this so what is the size of the first array int a size as i will say as as means a size a size is a dot length this is the size of the first array int b size i am giving short form bs bs means b size b dot length i will say now we need to create a third array which is going to be the integer array integer c is equal to like this we need to create new int of what should be the size of the third array the new array what should be the size of this array the size of this array should be the size of the first array plus second array the size of the first array is as the size of the second array is bs so we need to say as plus bs this will give the size of the third array that is if the size of the first array is 3 the size of the second array is 4 the 
then size of this resultant array will become seven. So seven elements we can store into the third array. Done. Now we'll write a while loop. Okay. First uh, we have created the array guys. So far till here it is done guys. Till the size it is done. We create creation of the array it's done. Now we need to compare this element with this element. Keep on comparing. I told you the logic rights. Like that we need to compare while while the size of the array. Let's write it here. While uh, the size of the array that is uh, here there is something we need to write guys uh, while I have to say here uh, int i is equal to zero guys okay. Here I need to say i is equal to zero. I am creating for the a purpose. For this a purpose, I am creating index zero. For indexing of this uh, first array, I am creating i. And for indexing of the second array, I am setting the index of the second array also to zero only. J is equal to zero. J is going to work for the array b. Now, the third array index also I am setting it to zero. This third, this k, this index value, which is assigned to the variable k is going to work for third array, like that guys. Just understand that. i is going to work for a, j is going to work for b, and k is going to work for c. So here I'll write i, i is for a, then j is for indexing of b, c, uh, this uh, k is for indexing of c. Okay, the three variables we created and initially we have set the index of these three variables to zero. Now you will understand the concepts clearly. While i is less than, while, sorry, while a of i, okay, while a of i or not this one guys, sorry, while i is less than, this uh, index is less than, the size of this uh, a, okay? While index i is less than as, and and index j is less than this bs, okay? Is less than bs. So index can be the last element of any array will be less than the size of the array, right? So this element is at as minus one. The third the, uh, the element three is at the index zero, one, two, right? Size of the array is three. So three minus one is two. So this is three. So that's why we have to write less than AS case, okay? I less than AS means zeroth index is less than AS because in this array, only indexes zero, one, two are possible. Three is not possible. Though size is three, the index will be up to two only. That's why we have to say less than size of the array. Here, same thing applies for the second variable also. Index is less than the size of the second array, PS. Now, in this kind of situation, when I is less than AS and J is less than BS, we have to write the logic. That is, if we need to start comparing this, we need to start comparing these two elements. If A of I, A of I, this index I, is less than or equal to b of i in this case what we have to do then we'll consider this one as a lesser element okay this one as a lesser element element if a of i that means a of zero is less than or equal to b of zero then we are going to copy this element into the array okay here we need to copy into this array we need to copy the lowest element into the new array we need to copy the lowest of this two elements that is when i comp when i compare this one with two when i compare one with two one is the lowest so one is going to go go into the this array that is i will say c of k the value of k is zero guys c of k is equal to a of i i have to say hope you are getting the point so here c of k is equal to a of i at the index of new array we are copying the first element of array so one will be going and falling here 
like this one will be coming here for now the first element is this element done now since we already copied the first element of this array will increase the index of this array that means we have to increase increment this i by one that's why we have to say i plus plus we should not be copying the first element multiple times right we should not be compare already this element is gone to the new array why should we keep the index at the same position we have to increase the index so i plus plus happened now i will become i became what guys i became from 0 to 1 now i is 1 i is 1 j is still 0 guys j is still 0 i is 1 and uh, k is first element is already there guys now now first element is already copied from here to here that means initially k is 0 since element is copied we also have to increment k also okay so that we can store into the second position of this new array for that we have to increment k also k plus plus assigned index should be changed and assignee index should also be changed like that else okay else the first iteration we are already seen because one is called one is uh, compared with two and that is done else we'll see later guys okay once the else condition comes uh, we'll go to the else and write the logic till then we'll keep it like this now again i became one and j became zero and uh, k became one j is still zero guys i is one k is one now k became one and i became one so k also became one here i'll put one here okay fine now this condition will be verified where i less than as i means one one less than as means size of the array that is one less than three still true and j less than bs both the conditions should be true guys j is zero j le zero less than four still true so we'll go inside the while loop if a of i what is the i guys one that means this element Will, it, will be compared with less than or equal to b of i still j is at zero only so two will be compared with two only since it is condition is matching here equal to symbol is also there so this element will be copied into c of k k is one guys at k of zero is already done so c of one is this position to this position this two will be copied you see a c of k is equal to a of i a of i is this one a of one it's called c of one kind of here we need to copy now when you copy that this element the in, I, value of i should be incremented so i plus plus i will become two hope you are understanding the logic now k also should be incremented because the new element should be stored here newly uh, going to copy element should be uh, copied here that's why k plus plus k will become two like this now again this condition will be verified where i less than s two less than three true again yes it is true guys two less than three is true so uh, what about j zero less than four still true we'll go inside the while loop now if a of i a of i is a of two zero one two this element the last element of this array okay a of i less than or equal to less than or equal to b of i b of i is still there here only okay three is compared with two here 3 less than or equal to 2? No, this is not matching. It's not correct. 3 is not less, not equal to 2. So we'll go to the else block. In else block, what we'll do is we'll write the logic like C of k is equal to B of j will write. Okay. This time we'll assign this value to the new array C. C of k is equal to B of j. That means this will go and fall into the index two of k so three will be sorry not three sorry there is a mistake here this two two sorry there is a mistake when you are comparing here three is less than or equal to b of j okay three is less than or equal to which is false so we went to the else block here i am going to say c of k is equal to b of j b of j is b of zero only right still j is zero only see new to the new element of the new array that is c will be assigning the first value of second array like this we have to assign one comma two comma two okay one comma two comma this one is gone now since this array element is uh, assigned to the new array 
we need to increment of j right we need to increment j so that we can compare this element we should not compare already this is copied to the new array so we have to increment j here and uh, in order to store the newly compared value into the newly selected and compared value into the new array we need to increment the value of k by 3 for that we have to say k plus plus like this okay so if value of array a is assigned we will say i plus plus if the value of b array is assigned to the c then we will say j plus plus simple okay now so j is incremented by 1 because of j plus plus and k is incremented by 1 because of k plus plus now we'll go here and compare we'll fi find the uh, what will the condition will result i less than s i is 2 guys i is 2 Two less than three. True again. J less than B S. J is one. One less than four. Still true. We'll go inside. If A of I, A of I means this one, is less than or equal to B of I. That is B of one. A of two, A of two is less than or equal to B of one. B of one is this one. These two are getting compared. Three and four. So which element should be copied, guys? Here a of i will be copied because this condition is true. So a of i is three. Three will be copied to c. So three will be coming and falling here. Simple. And again i plus plus i will become three. K plus plus k will become four. Done. Else block will not be executed. And again this condition will come where i less than s. I is three. Three less than three. True or false? False. One of the condition is false. So we'll come out of the while loop. Simple. But there is a problem here. Here total. The array C should get seven elements. Only four are copied so far. Okay. Out of seven elements, only four are copied so far. Remaining three elements of this array B are not copied. That's a problem, right? So only up to the end of the one of the array only the comparison will happen. After that, we have to simply copy this array elements into the resultant array. For that, we'll write a logic here. While I less than A S. If i is still less, we don't know which array will be less than the other array, right? If this array may end first, or because of the comparison, this array elements will end up first, or this array elements will end up first. We don't know. For that reason, we'll write one of the for loop like, while loop like this. Uh, while i less than s, if i is less than s, is it true? Three is less than three, true? No. If still it is less than s, then we need to simply we need to simply copy the remaining elements okay remaining elements starting from index i that is while i less than as you are saying right simply we'll say c of k is equal to a of i simple you don't have to compare anything here no if condition guys directly you are saying c of i is equal to a of i until the i is less than as we have to keep on continue i plus plus k plus this is common We have to increment for every iteration. After copying the remaining elements of the array, we need to increment C, K, and I. Done. If the same applies for the second uh, array also, guys. Okay. If the first array is ended first, then this condition will be checked. That is, I will say J less than B S. If J is less than B S still, then C of K is equal to B of J. I will say. I will tell. I will practically show you what is going to happen. Okay. J plus plus. Then K plus plus. So to the current situation, I'll I'll show you what practically show you what what this uh, logic will do. Okay. Now I have written the logic for both the arrays, guys. Uh, so here already we copied one, two, three here. Already done. Only the first element of the second array is done. Remaining elements are not copied as per the current situation. So we came out of the while loop already. Now this while loop will be checked where i less than s, i is three, guys. Three less than s, three. Is it true? Three less than three? No. So this while loop will not be executed because it is already copied into the resultant array. Will come out of this while loop. Okay. Will not even go inside. Now this condition will be checked where while j is less than b s, j is one guys, one less than four. Yes, it is true guys. So we'll go inside this while loop and say c of k is equal to b of j. C of k is this fourth position. C of k to this fourth position. Zero, one, two, three, fourth position. Okay. Fourth index, sorry, fourth index. 
So the fourth index we are assigning b of j. b of j is this one, 0, 1, index 1. So 4 will be copied here, symbol. Then after that, we'll simply say j plus plus, j will become 2 and uh, k plus plus, k will become 5, like this. So next thing is, uh, again, this condition will be ver verified where j less than bs, 2 less than, 2 less than 4, true again. So we'll go inside, c of k is equal to b of j again. c of k is, c of k, c of k is 5, fifth index. C, uh, fifth index means this, this index, okay? This here, this position. c of k is equal to b of j. b of j is b of 2, 0, 1, 2. That is 6 will be copied here, simple. 6 will be assigned here. And after that, again, j plus plus, k plus plus. j will become 3, k will become 6. Now, this condition, j less than bs, 3 less than, where is bs? 3 less than bs, 3 less than 4, still true. We'll go inside, c of k, c of k is c of this position, sixth index, okay? c of k is equal to b of j, b of j is 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. That is last element will be copied here. Done. Now after that, j plus plus. j will become 4 and k will become 7. k will become 7. That's fine. Now this condition will be verified. j less than bs. 4 less than bs. 4 less than 4. True? No, it will come out of the while loop. Done, guys. So the new array is already created now, okay? Like this, one, two, two, three, four, six, eight, which is a sorted order only. Like this, guys, we have to write the logic. Initially, we need to compare the array elements until one of the array elements are done. After that, we have to simply copy paste or assign the remaining elements of the remaining array into the resultant array. Anyhow, both the arrays are in sorted order, right? Now, uh, the logic is done, guys. Uh, this looks complex, but if you go in a step-by-step -step manner, while watching this video, if you practice uh, step by step and then if you can get the result right, this will look very easy for you, okay? This will this logic is very easy, guys, but looks complex or confusing, you can say. Instead of complex, it's a kind of confusing, guys, okay? Uh, other than that, uh, this is very simple logic, guys. So here, uh, the we assigned all the elements of both arrays into the, the new array based on a sorting order. Now we'll print out this third array to check whether we are getting this output or not. For that, I'll write a print statement saying system.outerprintln. In order to print this uh, array C, this array should be in a string format, okay? This array is not a string, right? Now we need to convert this array into a string. How to convert? There's a predefined class in Java known as arrays class using which we can convert, okay? Using this array class, we can call a method known as toString command. Arrays dot toString. This toString command, of this arrays class will convert the given array into a string. So I'll select this one. So I'll copy this array that I want to convert into a string that is array C, I'll paste here. Two string command will convert this array C into a string. After converting into a string, println will print out that string array, okay? That, the array which is in the format of the string will be printed now using the println statement. Now let's run this and see whether we are getting the proper output or not. You see, this is the output we got. 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, and merged into a single array. 1, 2, 3. There is a problem here, guys. There is a problem coming. 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8 is coming. But we should be getting 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Where is the problem? Like what we have done? Did we do any mistake here? I don't think so. It looks everything is uh, looking perfect. Last three elements are perfectly copied. That's fine. But here we need to focus. The comparison we have to focus. So where exactly we are gone wrong? While i less than ajs and j less than bs is fine, if a of i is less than or equal to b of j, then c of k is equal to a of i. Okay, c of k is equal to a of i, i plus plus k plus plus. Everything looks perfect, but still, yeah, here is a problem, guys. A of i is less than b of j. We have to say, okay. I kept high here. That's the reason, guys. That's the main problem. Okay. A of i less than b of j, we have to say. Otherwise, it will be a problem, right? Uh, j index a of i should be compared with b of j. Here, I, uh, by confusion, I kept i, guys. That's the main problem. Otherwise, the program would have run properly. Run it. This time, you should get the proper 
you see this time we got the proper result 1 to 2 3 4 6 8 1 to 2 3 4 6 8 so simple mistakes will give you uh, different results guys okay so be careful which uh, variables you are putting and uh, whether you are getting that because here there are three arrays three variables and each and every variable is associated with a particular array so a lot of confusion there is a lot of possibility for the confusion guys so without confusing if you understand this program you'll get the proper result like this so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to merge two different sorted arrays into a third sorted array okay you can try it guys try it for two or three times you will get the proper result for sure okay so this is very simple logic but confusing logic i understand but still try it and uh, practice it uh, while watching the video so that uh, you'll get solution in one or two runs so that's it guys thank you bye